Good morning, sir, and welcome to another day of the video diary, and today is a very big day. And do you know why, Sydney? Do you know why? Because one year ago today, I started making daily vlogs. One year ago, this very day, one year ago, I started. I've been doing this for a year now, and I'm now into my second year. This is my second year of daily vlogging, Sid. How unbelievable is that? Look at you. You can't believe it, can you? I mean, that's absolutely incredible. I, I'm so... I'm so happy, and I'm rushing through yesterday's video so I can upload it as soon as possible because I'm really proud of Lovely, um, and oh, I'm so I'm so pleased. It's great. Um, it's going to be a good year. I've got to make this year better than last year. Now I've got to be like a continual yearly to monthly improving basis is what I'm going to do. So, what has been? going on thus far today. Essentially I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm all excited to tweet about it, blah 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 blah. I'm going to write a blog post and stuff later. Uh, maybe make a vlog on the main channel about it. God knows, Sydney. Let's face it, I need to put videos on that channel as well as this channel too. But, um, yeah, I was probably going to make a vlog about it on there, make a blog about it. Pfft. Just like, oh, I'm so proud. I just want to like tell the world. Um, so yeah, I got up, was all excited, tweeted about it a bit. And then I was looking into high diving. And I've always wanted to do high diving since I was about like eight years old. I've always wanted to do high diving, but I've never been able to because I did swimming, and then I was like started. I quit swimming to go to to concentrate on schoolwork and stuff. And now I watched it on the Olympics. And I'm like, why not? Why not just try it? So I rang the literally the only pool within like a twenty mile radius of us that have a high diving pool. I rang them up and asked them very nicely. I was like, um, do you happen to have like any way of like? like a one-on-one -on -one, like crash course and how to do high diving for like for like adults just like me one of the person just teach me how to do it safely and then that's all I want just like an hour's learning and uh, they just said um what was that for adults sir no only children what but I can go on a non-lesson without any training any practice or anything so I don't know shall I then I said what do you think it's a bit it's a bit scary what have I hurt myself Sydney Stroke. Stroke. So yeah, I'm not sure if I want to get. I think if I if I don't get into Bath and I get into Nottingham instead of Bath, um, they have like a diving society. So I'll definitely join that. In Bath they don't have one because high diving boards are relatively rare. In Bath they have like an Olympic sized swimming pool, but they don't have a diving board. Um, so if I go to Nottingham, I will definitely join that. But I think I definitely want to go at least once before I go on holiday. Not on holiday. What we're we talking about to university. Jesus. So I may look into it going. Like without lessons at all, which is mildly scary. I'm gonna have to like do some reading on the internet and stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Just do some googling to see if I can do it safely. Else though, that was this morning. What's going on later and today? Today, oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna go down shopping with Sean. To he's essentially walking to the gym, so I'm gonna walk down. I need to do some errands with the dog. I'm gonna take him with me. I keep pointing the camera at him today. Um, so I'm gonna walk down with the Sean. Do some stuff get some stuff um, yeah that's about it and then I'm gonna come back do some blogging do some vlogging wait um, play a bit of tech it maybe just to celebrate and get my hair cut yeah because it's too long it's ridiculously long it looks like some of that the Beatles or something doesn't it and it's always too long when you get like a, a bit that goes over your ear I hate that bit so yes we're just waiting for the Sean now he's always late you know what he's like and so it turned out he wasn't late at all, he was just stood calmly waiting outside my door, knocking, and I couldn't hear him. Good job. So we've just walked down shopping, and we, I, well, yeah, I walk him to the gym, kind of. We go to the shops and stuff on the way. He walks to the gym, I then walk back on my own with the Sid Sid. Um, and essentially, we didn't really talk about much. We talked about, well, we did, we talked about a load of stuff, but it was like nothing of great. I've been talking about diving, high diving still. Um, since I can't get lessons, surely if they can do a public swim on it, it, it can't be that dangerous. It's going to hurt if you belly flop. But beyond that, how much damage can you really do apart from like obviously hitting your head on the thing on the way down? But I've been reading stuff online and you obviously don't want to start doing somersaults on like your first day of trying it. So, well maybe, maybe once or twice, but otherwise you want to just get used to all of the boards, don't you? Like the springboards at the bottom, then like the 5 metre, the 10 metre, the 15 metre. So... I'm looking into it. I am. I don't want to not do it because I'm like I've got myself all excited about it now. Um, I'm gonna look, go back home, look to see when you can do it, when it's like possible and stuff. Um, 
and then see if I can get a friend to come down with me. Because I'm not going to go on my own if it's not a lesson, because that's weird. Does anyone go like swimming on their own? And it'll be like a proper kick from the past as well because I used to like race for Nottingham and we used to train at that pool and I haven't been to that pool since I quit. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be all exciting. It is, I can't wait. I'm gonna, I've tweet, I've, I haven't tweeted. Well, I have tweeted, but um, I Facebooked it like saying, so uh, does anyone wanna try high diving? I don't know. Cause we keep trying to like organize tennis and stuff and it doesn't go too well because it's daytime and people are always busy in the daytime doing other things. It's really hard to like coordinate a day. Uh, but high diving, I'd lo really love to try it out, I would. And I'm home and that really isn't news because I've been home for a damn long time but dad's on night so I can't really vlog in the house without waking him up. So, what have I been doing? I've been sat here at my desk editing uh, yesterday's daily vlog. I've uploaded it yesterday's daily vlog. I literally just wanted to rush it online as soon as possible. I'm also going to delay how long this one goes because I just want it to be like, ah, look, look at it. Ah. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that one's now upline, upline, online, and I am in otherwise terms busy. I completely, well, I didn't forget about this, but I didn't realise that I had to get this sorted so soon. I was going to like write a blog post and blah 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 blah. I'm probably going to do that later tonight instead, assuming that people don't drag me onto Minecraft. Um, but I am now instead making um, Lovely's sister's birthday present. And since this uploads on her actual birthday, I can say this, so it doesn't matter. I assume she doesn't watch. I assume. Um, but essentially, what it is at the moment is I bought some card in town the other day. Um, which is like this red, white, and blue, blah, 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 blah. And I was just gonna write on the blue card, then realized I don't have any like silver pens. You'd have to have like a silver or a white pen so it would show up probably. So I thought, I know, what I'll do is, is I'll cut it up into like two separate points like that, then put a white piece inside it and then write on the white piece. And what they're gonna be is essentially just like, uh, like favors and stuff. Essentially, because I, I wasn't allowed to get her a present. So she's my, we're super secret squirrels. We are. If we, we always have like little plans, like if I need to organise something for Lovely, my, I'll get my super secret squirrel on it and she'll she'll help me out a little bit. So that's what I'm going for. These are essentially five super secret squirrel favours. That's what they essentially are. Um, because I wasn't allowed to get her anything else. And I've also got, because super secret squirrels, right, and I'm an absolute freaking genius. And I think they've twigged about this anyway. What the hell is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, hazelnuts. Um, if you remember, I got those on. I got all of this on um, the Summer in the City train ticket, train tickets video. And now I've got to put it all together. I've got to write, attach these together. Uh, nice nuts. And the card says, "Go nuts on it," because secret squirrels. <laughs> oh, so bloody funny. But I've already gone wrong. If, as a general proviso, I am terrible at making things in real life. I've got like this amazing idea in theory that if I had like a massive like three-dimensional laser cutter, I'd be able to do it brilliantly and it'd be absolutely amazing. But as soon as I start to apply my ideas to the real world, usually it's fine with like videos and stuff. It's nice and virtual. There's no like physical limitations on the videos. But here, I've got to do this, right? So I got through, I cut this two, this one, this one, this one, got to these two here, right? And then I realized, because I've obviously folded up big pieces of card to do this, I realized, why am I cutting it down the middle just to try and attach it back together again? I realized that on the last four, right? What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. I face palmed as soon as I realized, I was like, and I haven't got enough card to go back and fix it. So now I've got to like improvise and like staple it. I don't bloody know. I'm useless at making things. Just complete, just blind ignorance. Just completely forgot about that. Just, that's yeah, not going to be a problem. Nah, poof, yeah, it's not going to be a problem, man. So yeah, that's uh, a bit annoying, to be honest with you. So yeah, it's just sat here on, on Tumblr, apparently. Uh, Tumblr and Twitter and stuff. Just, um, oh, the high diving, what's my do hick? I've talked to people and a couple of people are interested, we've got Sean interested, we've got Daniel interested. So hopefully we get to go pretty damn frickin' soon. Although we keep trying to organise tennis and that keeps going really well. Um, like immensely, like on new levels of really, really well. To the extent where we all just go, okay, how about this day? And then one person can't go, we're like, okay, crap, next day, oh no, I can't go. Blah, 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 blah. And it's going extortionately well. Hopefully we get something sorted out at some point in the future. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've got to get back to that. I've got to now draft what I'm going to write on all of them because I've got enough white card to do a load of retakes, but my 
Uh, well, one, I haven't been to school in a long time, so my handwriting is probably down the pan. Um, also, I spell like a four-year-old, so I need to spell check everything out on the computer first because pff, I can't bloody smell. Oh God, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's going well. Two attempts down. I've even got it. I'm copying that, and I'm still making mistakes. And there it is. A ridiculous amount of time has gone into that, and it's a nice thick, chunky envelope. I can't tell it too much because the name's written on the other side. But that's a nice, thick, chunky little thing. I've got a really good idea of how I can get it to get it to her as well because I'm getting her a card, obviously. Because you can't have a birthday without getting a birthday card. So. There's obviously a birthday card, and then that's technically a birthday present, but it fits in an envelope because it's not a th I wasn't allowed to get her a present present, and I don't particularly know her well enough to be able to get one that would be suitable, if you know what I mean. Um, I wouldn't be able to pick one out and go, yep, that's that's definitely her. But we have like the, the secret squirrel thing in common, so I've decided that I'm going to do something along the lines of that. <laughs> oh, God damn it, the side was wet. Oh, no, why was the side wet? What? Who left that wet? Oh well, I'll leave it on the, the radiator that's turned off to dry. <sighs> Please don't be ruined. But yeah, theoretically, I always think that giving presents it isn't all about the presents. It's not about giving someone like XYZ gifts. It's not about like the amount of money you spend. It's also not about... Well, it is about the thought that goes into it. This is a very thoughty present as opposed to a uh, money one present. Um, which I always prefer to be fair, but it's not about being all flamboyant and getting like big things all the time. And I do that a bit, but it's like part of the stage. I think present giving is more of like, it's like a show. You put on a show, it's like a stage production. It's not like, oh, here's your present, blah, 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 blah. You've got to be, you've got to make a thing about it. You've got to be like, oh, is it very, it's like, there's going to be a fan, I don't know, it's going to be like a fanfare. Whenever I buy someone multiple presents, I want to buy lovely multiple presents, I'll buy some presents just to make the show. Like at Christmas when I bought her a stereo, um, I also bought her a cable that would make her shut up. Oh, why is everything so loud? Um, yes, I didn't only just buy her a stereo, I bought her a cable that would work with her old stereo. And then I made her like, I said, oh yeah, this will this will let you be able to plug your laptop in and then you'll be able to use Spotify on your stereo. And then I like, made her go through the, the farce of like plugging it in and everything before I let her open the next present, which was the stereo. And then I think it was like a Pandora bracelet charm after that as well. Um, I'm, I'm amazing at presents, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. And then she's gone through all the farce and it's like, there's like a whole production, it's like, oh yeah, here's a cable, blah, 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 bang, there's a stereo, you don't need the cable anymore. I bought her a present that I knew that within 10 minutes she wouldn't need. Purely because it made the stage production that little bit more special, you know? Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to try and organise, I'm not entirely sure how well it's going to go yet, so I'll tell you tomorrow when I'm actually doing it. Um, I'm going to try and organise to make it a bit more stagey and a bit more showy and a bit more fitting and it'll be amazing um, if I can get it done. I've got to find some time and then go for walks and stuff and around and stuff. So what's going on tomorrow? First things first, I am going to both play tennis. After saying earlier that we never managed to organise tennis, we literally just organised it today for tomorrow. We're going at 10 o'clock, which means I've got to get up at about 7 so that I can cycle down in time. Um, and then we're going to go down to the grass courts, which I've never played on grass before, and apparently Alex, who is my tennis foe, and I will be vlogging this, by the way, because pff, I've been doing this for a year now. I can do that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, he's like my vlogging nemesis, so to speak, and so is Pingu. And they are both like, we're going to get you on, 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 the, on the grass courts, and you're going to go down, man. And I'm like, wow, well, let's, let's be honest, mate. Are you going to lose? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a... I haven't played tennis in literally like two years though, and they've played recently, so they'll probably win. And I was never that good anyway, to be honest. So I'm cycling down there, that's gonna be like a 20 minute ride, and I'm gonna wear my helmet after the internet backlash that I got, after I didn't wear a helmet on the bike cam video. Blimey. And then we're gonna play till like X, Y, Z time. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna play, leave. I know Alex has to leave early. I might leave about one-ish to two-ish as I need to then organise things. I need to go and organise this thing for lovely sister, if I can. Um, I think I'm gonna to have to push it quite late though to like five, six o'clock before I can actually do it. Um, obviously again, more on that tomorrow. And 
and then we're going for a meal. We're going out as a family, kind of as a family, the dog's there, um, as myself, lovely, lovely sister, who's it's her birthday, uh, lovely's mother and lovely's father. We're going to go for a meal. We're going to go for a Chinese meal, a wish one, and it's going to be nice, but it's going to be weird because it's the first time I've ever been to like a restaurant thing with her parents, and it's, it's strange. Like, I'm not allowed to, lovely said, you're not allowed to pay for it. I'm like, why? Why? Yeah, so there's that. I am very excited, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to keeping these videos fresh and high active. I'm still on the energy rush from having done this for an entire year. This is year number two. Amazing. Um, so, I'll, I'll uh, see you tomorrow then for tomorrow's amazingly full day after today's relatively lazy one. I'm just sitting there working for a ridiculously long amount of time and my battery's low. I wonder whose fault that is. Hey, lovely, with your dawdling. Hey. Alright, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll catch you later.